This is a video to show installation of Octave 3.8.2 on a Windows 7 machine. For this release, Octave has an option of running a graphical user interface which makes it very similar to the environment in MATLAB. So let's get started by opening a browser. Here's the Octave website. We'll go to download and scroll down through the options and we see there are some wiki instructions on installing Octave on a Windows system. Scrolling down, we want Octave 3.8. I'm going to choose the with Java support option. So here's a Google Drive site and we can download the program here. That took a few seconds, but the download's complete. Click Next. Here's the license agreement. I'll just choose the default settings here. Allow it to install on the C drive. So, after a couple of minutes, the program has installed. And go to your program files. Go under Octave. And if you want the graphical user interface to run, then click here and I'll close out the news window. Stretch this window. Here's a message indicating that the graphical user interface is still experimental. I'll hide that and then we'll try it out. So I've cleared my command window. Now let's just try a couple of commands. I'll say x is equal to the vector 1, 2, 3, y is equal to x dot hat 2 and plot x comma y. The first time you execute a plot it may take a few moments to initialize the plotting but you can see I'll close that plot and execute it again and it'll happen very quickly. Investigating this environment, you see you, you have an editor window here where you could write scripts and user written functions. The command window, of course over here you navigate to directories and set your current directory uh, very much the same way that you would in MATLAB. I hope that helps you get started using Octave, a MATLAB clone. Good luck.